And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Max Buster here with another video. Today we're going to be opening up this very awesome looking tin from the Universal Fighting System, or UFS for short, made by Jasco Games, as it could tell right here. This is the Capcom Limited Edition tin. Jury and Viper variant. Now this particular tin contains the same contents as the Ryu one, which is three Street Fighter booster packs, one Mega Man Battle for Power booster pack, uh, one Dark Stalkers vs. Street Fighter booster pack, and one Platinum Edition booster pack along with a limited edition card which features the same artwork as this very lovely tin. Now personally I really like the uh, purple theme going on here. Of course Jerry and Viper, two of the more newer additions to the Street Fighter female cast. Got per Capcom and purple here reminds me of Darkstalkers. Jasco Games still has that Mega Man feel. Capcom and Jasco Games. Without further interruption, let's get into this particular tin unboxing. I'm really excited to see if we get any new cards to the sets that we have. Most of the Platinum series should be new for us, and everything else, well, just luck of the draw. It's like double wrapped and I don't know why, it's kind of weird. But I do love this tin. This tin looks fantastic. I mean, just look at it. It is beautiful. Definitely one that I'm probably going to be keeping just to uh, store some something random in, I'm sure. All right, and then of course, package just like the previous one that comes inside this uh, little baggie, and not an airtight bag, which I like because the airtight bags could uh, potentially damage the card if sealed well enough, especially over time when the shrink wrap will shrink over time. There is <clears throat> the promo card, and here is the selection of packs. The Platinum series, which we will open last, just because I haven't opened many. The Battle for Power. The Darkstalkers vs. Street Fighter. And the Three Street Fighters. And of course, the Limited Edition card. Just look at that. Absolute fantastic hollow pattern. we got Covert Intent. Very cool, of course, featuring Jury and Viper from Street Fighter fame. I love it. Kind of wish, uh, I kind of wish Jury had her uh, set of cards in the Street Fighter set. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe if they ever make another one, maybe she'll make it in that set. But it seems like Jasco nowadays doesn't want to make multiple of any series. They kind of just want to make it one and done, which I can understand, but I'd also like to revisit some popular franchises. We're going to open up Street Fighter, then uh, probably Mega Man, Street Fighter vs. Dark Stalker, and then finish it with the Platinum set. I'm still missing two character cards from this set, T-Hawk. And Blanca, so if I could pull one of those as an uncommon, that'd be fantastic. <clears throat> place this, uh, uh, place this kind of down here. Is that right there? Is that over here, I guess? Our first card is Fight Like a Beast. Tiger Shot. Heavy Body Press. Power Made Flesh. I'm not sure if I have this one. Show you can. V 
featuring Sakura. Very cool. This is our rare. We got Hit and Ryu training. Cannon Spike. The Southern Comment. Whoops, let me move that up. Sorry about that. Condor Dive. And Rekakin. I think I pulled quite a few Rekakins over the Street Fighter Booster Box life. Open up the next one. Come on, Blanca. <laughs> we got another kin, okay. At least we got another character card, that's always nice. Oicho Throw. Blue Tsunami. Dash Uppercut. Ooh, that's an ultra rare. Chakra Nohado. I know I don't have that one, so that's a great pull. Chakra Nohado. Very nice. Uh, chasing the Fight Money. Shun Goku Statsu. Career Soldier. Sakura's Hadouken. And Hidden Ryu Training. We're going to open up the last of the Street Fighter cards. If it wants to uh, shimmy down. We got Fight Like a Beast, another Blanca Tease, Tiger Shot, Devil Reverse, I still love that name, Beauty's Power, don't have too many of those, that's kind of nice, uh, Sobat Carnival, I do have that one, so unfortunately not a new rare there, Double Knee Press, Condor's Dive, Hit and Ryu Training, we got one in every single pack from this boost, or from this tin, that's kind of weird. Haunted by Loss, and Cannon Spike. Very cool. We did get a UR from the Street Fighter pack, so that was a very nice pull for us. I'm going to open up the Mega Man one first. There are quite a few cards I'm still missing from this set, so here's hoping we get something new. I'm not 100% sure of all the rares I'm missing, but I know I'm missing... Ultra rares, character cards, all that good jazz. There is one card in here that's stuck. Does not want to show itself. Uh, the card that was stuck was Premeditated Attack. Oh, you Dr. Wily. Always up to, uh, always up to no good. Arrogant and Overconfident. Clear Cutter, Raging Slash, Stolen Sword, Dr. Wily's Challenge, uh, Respect for Yamato, oh, our rare is uh, Gyro Blade, which I'm pretty sure I have, uh, Nearly Consumed, and Mace Master. Up next is the Street Fighter vs. Darkstalker, which I still love this uh, image of Akuma. Just look how evil he is. Okay. Just want to make sure that there isn't a card kind of stuck at the top there. Don't want to cut a card, that's for sure. Okay, we did not. So next, from the Street Fighter vs. Dark Stalker, Dark Stalkers, ah, uh, if I could talk, we got Reunion Across Dimensions, very cool. Swallow Your Soul, very uh, suggestive there. Prophetic Fulfillment, 
Yeah, that's the uh, Angry Baby. I do have that one, unfortunately. Fusion Refusal. Looks like they're trying to perform the Fusion Ha Dance, and uh, I don't know how that would work between those two. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Enlightened by Defeat. Face our Felice Inozino saved by Elena Cryotech Cryo Cryokinetic Assassination something you don't see all the time Far worse places than hell and Spiral Divinia And for our Platinum Pack, the star of the show, all hollows, 10 cards hollow. Our first card is Egotistical Mega Man. Merciless Master. Dream Thief. Very cool card featuring Morgana. That is a common. Homemade Explosives. That's Little Red uh, Riding Hood, if I rem rem remember correctly. Hyper Mega Buster. Without a Master. Egotistical again? Okay, so it's possible you can get dupes in these packs. Ooh, that rare looks awesome. Ice Slasher Rare. That looks sick. I like it. Reminds me of DBZ style rares. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ophidiophobia? Is that like the fear of insects? Might be. And, ooh. That's a cool looking one. Zelzer... Zelzerike? Is that right? Zelzerike? And that is a rare of a house. Spooky house. Hey, perfect timing. Halloween's almost around the corner. Good time to pull that card. So with that said... That was the contents of this particular Capcom Special Edition 10 Jury and Viper Edition. And I gotta say, it was pretty good. Got a few new cards. Got a new Ultra Rare from the Street Fighter set, so that's always fantastic. And I love, love, love the promo card that was included with the 10. We got this uh, Zeltzerike. Ice Slasher. I love the hollow pattern, by the way. Prophetic Fulfillment. The Evil Baby. Gyro Blade. Sabat Carnival. Chakra Nohado is our ultra rare. Very nice. And Shuyukin. A Sakura Rare. Overall, pretty nice box. Or not box 10. Uh, the 10, in my opinion, by itself is definitely worth it because you get the six packs, this limited card, and this very, very awesome looking 10. Definitely worth keeping afterwards, in my opinion. I'm sure you can find some sort of storage use for it. With all that said, this has been Booster Box Buster with the Universal Fighting System Capcom Limited Edition 10 Jury and Viper Edition. Signing out.